baptism, that they might share in the faith of your church and have eternal life. By the mystery of this consecrated water, lead them and lead us to a new spiritual birth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Very good. Now, I'm going to ask you, as parents, my parents, and my friends, each of us, to be prophets. Remember I said one of the three things, priest, prophet, king, prophet is someone who hears what the Lord has to say and with the Spirit, the courage of the Holy Spirit is willing to say and live it. We're going to renew your baptismal promises if you've been baptized and then you're going to profess these promises for the first time for these children who are going to be baptized. So your response is a strong I do. Because if you don't have a strong I do, that means you don't. And we don't want no donors. We want doers. We've got plenty of donors out in the world. We need doers. Okay? So I ask you to strongly profess what you believe. You'll hear three questions about what you don't want in your child's life and what you don't want in your life. And then we'll follow it up with three questions and things and realities that you want in your life. So, I ask you, parents, godparents, friends, and family, do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. I do. do you reject the glamour I do. of the and refuse to be mastered by sin? I do. Do you reject Satan, father of sin, and prince of darkness? I do. The things we don't want. Now, I need to be strong I do for the things we do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. I do. This is our faith. This is our faith. This is the faith of our church. We are proud in humility. Not proud in ourselves, but proud that Jesus has claimed us to profess this in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.